My name is Kimo Paul, West Indies all around the Yeah, you know, I've been away from West Indies cricket for a pretty long time. It feels like ages, to be honest. Picked up an injury in New Zealand, and you know, that, that was the reason that I was away. No one wants to get injured, and when I got injured, it was really, really tough mentally. Because like I said, on my shoulder, you know, it was, it used to pay me like so, so bad, you know, like it was hurting so, so much. You know, I tried, I tried to, to push myself through it, but I just couldn't. And then, you know, my groin, then my hamstring. So it really took a toll on me, you know, coming back home on the flight, like I was just thinking, you know, like if I'm ever gonna play at the top level again, you know, there were like doubts in my mind and I was questioning, you know, my, my body and stuff like this. I'm a person that whenever I play, I like to, to play wholeheartedly, you know, I like to give 110%. So, you know, like all of these things were at the back of my head. If I do this, if I'm gonna get injured again, I'm gonna be out for another period. And like, to be honest, like I told myself, you know, if I get injured again, I would just probably retire because that's the, the mental strain that it put on me. Yeah, so, you know, when, when, I, when I got home, I just took a few days and then, like I said, you know, I had the program from the West Indies and then my training and stuff. And I just tried to, to do my strength work because the physio in Australia had actually told me, you know, that for my shoulder to be all good again, it would take six months and that was with surgery. I needed surgery and then I'll rest for six months. But I said, man, I'll just go home and, and try to do strength work. So while, while home, you know, like I said, it was just a lot of thoughts going through my head. My, like my fiance, like I said, played a really big role, you know, to keep me sane, I would say, because I love cricket so much and to just sit and watch just cricket play and you know you can't be there. You're missing all the fun and everything, you know, you're just reminiscing and you're just remembering, you know, stuff you used to do with the team and to just be there looking at it, looking at it and you can't be on the field. It's tough. Like many days, many days I would be so upset with myself. Like, you know, I would probably cry. Emotions would, would fill me because I didn't know when, when again I would play for the West Indies or when again I would play cricket at, at a top level. Yeah, so, you know, I just I just try to do as much strength work as possible on my shoulder, like, you know, hit the gym, do specifics for my shoulder, then my hamstring and my groin also. And, you know, it was it was me and my fiance because, you know, she would hit the gym with me and we would go work out and stuff like that. But I really had to put my mind to it, like, like really, really, really. I wanted when I come back, my, my plan was I wanted to be different. I wanted to be fit. I wanted to be stronger. You know, I didn't want to be the person that keeps getting injured so often. So that's why, like I said, I told myself, you know, even not a big injury come, I really don't know what I'm going to do, to be honest. So I'm just trying to, you know, to put things in place so that that won't happen. So if it's going to the gym more consistently, you know, eating more properly and stuff like that, that's stuff that I'm, that I'm trying to do and trying to incorporate. Prior to injury, you know, I would say that I was, I was much more raw, you know, I wasn't well, well polished. Like, even if I didn't have to push so hard or stuff, I would just, I would still try to, to you know, to push to, the, to that level. And sometimes that, that took a toll on my body. Mentally, I've always been strong mentally. I've, I've always had a good support system around me. I read a lot and try to gain as much knowledge as possible. Coming back now after injury, you know, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm much more reserved but I'm much more smarter than before. Like, I know my limits. I know when to push hard, you know, when to drop back a bit. You know, I think I know my body much, much more better than prior to injury. I think I've become much more relaxed and much more um, fine-tuned, like uh, I would say fine focus, you know? Like, I focus much, much more on my stretching and stuff like that. You know, I never used to pay much attention to that before, you know? I always used to think, I can't get injured like that. I'm young, I'm fit. You know, I can't get injured so easily. But you know, when you get injured and you see stuff like that happen, then you become, you give it much, much more thought than, than before. So that when I get back at the higher level, you know, I would be able to compete and, and to be better than I was before. So that, that was definitely one of my aims, to get back at the higher level and to be better than I was before. I was really looking forward to, to regional cricket and to playing cricket in the whole, you know. So once regional cricket came, 
You know, we started preparation way months before, you know, with the guy in the franchise. And I think that really helped me a lot, you know. I just did specifics, you know. I just tried to bat as long as possible or bat as, as much balls as possible in the nets and then just do my spot bowling and fitness. You know, we placed a, a lot of emphasis on fitness. In the Guyana setup here, fitness is a big, big deal. So, I mean, going into that regional tournament, I knew I was ready. I was really, really fit and I was just ready to go. I took the field for the West Indies. I was in, in Pakistan in the last ODI series, you know. It was special because leading up to that, I was doing well in regional cricket and, you know, I was telling my, my family, my friends, everyone, like, you know, I've never been ready to play for West Indies again. Like, I feel like, you know, like I'm actually making my debut all over again. Like, I'm really ready and I wanted it. So when I got the call, I was really excited, you know, really, really excited. And there was a bit of emotions also because it had been so long, you know, away from the West Indies setup and to just go back there and to interact and to be around these guys, you know, like Sheppy and Puran and Shea and all these guys. It was really, really good for me. It was just a special, special, special feeling. So when I took the field, you know, in that, the last ODI, you know, I was just giving God thanks and praise, you know, for bringing me back here. And, you know, I was just telling myself that I don't, I don't want to leave here. So, you know, I, I just got to make an impact and I got to put in the performances. Well, since coming back into the team, yeah, I must say that I felt really, really comfortable, you know. Pouring all the stresses, you know, that, that we're all brothers and that is how it seems, you know, since I've, since I've came back. It's been really, really good, man. The, the system, how, how we're doing stuff and everything between the team, you know, the camaraderie and everything. It's just so relaxed and it's just a really good environment to be in. I haven't played cricket in Guyana for a while. So to play this ODI um, series home here, you know, hopefully I get to play in the matches. And I'm just really excited to go, you know, I'm really, really excited to go out there and to put on a show, you know, like since I've come back from injury, every time I touch a field, I'm just really excited and I just want to perform, you know. I'm, I think I'm very much more relaxed now and I know that I'll do well, you know, I back myself 100%. So I just want to go there and just put on a show for the fans, you know, just do really well and, you know, make, make my parents proud, my family, you know, my fiance and all the Guyanese supporters, you know. I, I just want to do well for myself and for the team also. I'm from Guyana and, you know, whenever I represent Guyana, it's always wholeheartedly, you know, it's always 110%. I love playing for Guyana and I love playing for the West Indies. Nothing makes me happier. And you know, like going back to, to Guyana, you know, whenever I play for Guyana, it's special, man, you know, to, to represent the flag. You know, some days you would feel down, some days you would feel sore, you know, especially when you're playing four day cricket, but you know, you gotta get up and I think about my country, you know, like I'm representing my country. I, I can't let I can't let my country down, I can't let my people down, you know. So I try to push through always. And it's the same with West Indies. Whenever I touch the field. I know that people from all over the Caribbean are, are, you know, are looking and supporting us and I really don't want to disappoint them and I know the team don't want to disappoint them also. That gives me that extra push and that extra you know, drive to go out there and to do well. Like I said, even on days when you know, you'd probably have a niggle and you, know, you would just push through it because you know what it means for the people of the Caribbean to win. So I think coming, coming here to Guyana is going to be a really good series. The guys are definitely looking forward to it. And, the brand of cricket that we're playing now, we're excited. We can't, we can't wait to go out there and, and just put on a show and, you know, show what we're all about. And I think it's definitely going to be a good series and hopefully we, we come out on top.